add to add adsense ads.txt file for your website as well as troubleshoot common verification issues such as unauthorized not found and so on so let's dive right into it because i've got very important things to show you ads.txt file basically is a text file all you need to do is create one using notepad or other programs just name it as ads.txt then that text file you need to place your google adsense code which basically is your pub publisher id and other stuff that is unique for your google adsense account then simply save the file and upload to your web server bear with me let me upload that file to show you what that is let's imagine this is the file we uploaded as an open upload so now that's uploaded to my server but let's imagine you're using different content management systems such as wordpress.com or even blogger in blogger i can show you this settings monetization enable custom ads.txt enable that and create your custom ads .txt file like so on blogger if you're using different content management system the same process applies as in find the settings for creating ads.txt file okay so i'm covering many different angles because you may have a website that you need to add ads.txt using different ways but let's imagine you've uploaded the file and when you log into google adsense under sites ads.txt status is unauthorized or not found now here's what's very important when you create ads.txt file you need to make sure that it's a text file and it's encoded using utf-8 i won't go into character encoding but let's imagine we open this let's save as you can see encoding here it says utf-8 if you've you know used something else here different encoding then adsense may have problems verifying that file thus you'll have status not found perhaps unauthorized all of these could relate to character encoding next let me show you this as well let's actually open that file make sure that it's on the first line and there are no spaces okay that's very important i'm going to use a different program to show you you can see here sometimes even though you can't see it the encoding could be different so make sure you select that okay so if you're having you know verification issues these are the common problems also when you upload that file to your web server what you can do is visit your website and request that text file you should be able to see that file because if you can see it it's more than likely that google can also see it. now what if you can see it and ads.txt status still tells you it's unauthorized or not found here's how you troubleshoot that problem first you can look at your web server if you've uploaded ads.txt there and make sure the permissions are minimum 0644 you can always change permissions to that file okay don't go selecting all of it don't do that but rather have it at 0644 because 
if you're seeing unauthorized here, it could be related to file permission. Then when Google tries to see that file, the permissions block Google. Now, what if you're seeing 404 not found? Then the troubleshoot that. Simply press on F12 on your keyboard using Google Chrome. And then here, network tab, refresh the page. As we can see, when we look at that particular file, in my example, it says 200 OK. Now, what that means is, general public can request this file and see it. If you're seeing something different here, then you need to say, OK, why is that? Usually, it's to do with the website setup. Let's imagine your website is using www. And let's request without www to see what happens. Okay, as we can see, I have requested it and all seemed okay. Now, if there are any redirection on your web server somewhere due to www or HTTPS, non http these could oftentimes cause problems with Google verifying ads.txt file. Now, I know I'm going into depth, but, you know, depending on who's watching this particular video session, you could perhaps experience some problems with ads.txt due to these reasons. And then you see here unauthorized. That's to do with permission. Not found. It could be related to redirection. So basically, what you can do to test is just remove everything from the address bar or even use incognito option to request your website's ads.txt file without www. Let's do it like so. Let's remove the S from HTTPS. Let's request the file to see what happens. As you can see, it went to HTTPS. So that means, have you set up your site? As you can see, that's the site URL. You could be using subdomains, perhaps. One way or another, unauthorized problems, not found problems. This is how you troubleshoot. And to fix it, make sure the file permissions are set correctly. And if it's not found issues, simply double check web developer toolbar network tab and make sure that you're seeing 200 OK. Because if you're seeing anything else, then that gives you a hint as to what the problem is. Let's imagine you're seeing 301 redirection. Well, what that means is when Google tries to request that file, your server is redirecting Google elsewhere. So then you need to remove redirection for ads.txt file. So that is how you add and fix common verification issues with AdSense ads.txt file. For more useful videos for Google AdSense publishers, definitely check out Rankia YouTube channel. I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.